Elixir version 1.12 just came out recently. Has a lot of interesting things in it, but probably the most exciting one or the one that people have been talking about the most, other than this mix install, has been the fact that it works with uh, with Erlang OTP 24. And Erlang 24 is the one that has the JIT, so you'll get a huge speed up and we all like when things just magically get better as soon as we upgrade. But there were some problems with this upgrade, at least on a Mac with ASDF. The upgrade was a major pain. I ended up going down this GitHub slash Google rabbit hole to figure out what to do. So I'm going to share that. So let's go back to VS Code and we'll get started. So right now I have a bunch of stuff on ASDF. We'll just do ASDF current, see what I have installed. So I'm on Elixir 1.11 and Erlang 23. And I think I'm not even using that version of, of Erlang for Elixir. So we'll just do Elixir-V. We have OTP 23. Okay, so first I'll show you what didn't work because you'll probably see the exact same thing if you try to uh, upgrade Erlang to 24. So ASDF install Erlang and 24.0.1 is out, I believe. There we go. And this will just churn for a while. It's uh, it's actually a little bit uh, a little bit lengthy, but then once it's done, there'll be an error. And the problem with this is uh, something called curl that ASDF relies on, and there's a setting in curl that uh, isn't right for the current or doesn't work with, with Erlang 24 and Mac OS. So I'm going to have to make some manual changes. All right, so it's still extracting. I'm totally gonna have to cut this out of the YouTube version of this video. I'm using all of all of them. Okay, here's the error. So we get the configure failed, and this is pretty cryptic, just configure neither static nor dynamic crypto library found in user local opt open us all, all this stuff. That's actually not the place to, uh, to fix things. The place you need to go is users, your user directory plugins slash Erlang, and then not curl home, but just slash the executable curl. So we'll just use VM and or use VI and do this now. So, uh, Vim, uh, tilde from my local directory dot asdf slash plugins erlang <clears throat> and here you'll see there's a curl home directory and a curl script we're just going to edit the curl script and then we need to search for uh, we need to and you'll get this we need to munge the ld and ded flags it's the ded flag that was a problem disabled for Darwin here, go down to this line with Darwin and add dash disabled and then save that. And then you can actually run the exact same install command and everything will work. And now it says we deleted the build. This one's not managed quite fine. Humble Bundle has some great books and great options. They also have some that I, I think uh, are, are just from like publishing mills where they don't, don't really have much of an editor and they're kind of hit and miss. So what I do is, let me see if I can pull up my actual, yeah, I'll show up, show my actual purchases. So what I do is if I see anything uh, O'Reilly, I can go either way, but if I see anything from No Search Press on Humble Bundle, I just buy it. And like this whole bundle, so much good stuff. Only like 15 bucks or 18 bucks, something like that. Um, Coder's Bookshelf, Python Programming, uh, Learn to Code the Fun Way. Just, yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. I even got the, the uh, security ones, which I really didn't need at that time, but they... Uh, are turning out useful now that I've been getting into more like blockchain algo trading stuff. And they had one bundle from Manning 
which uh, was pretty awesome. So that would be my go-to. And then after that, look at the, the discounts. And Prag Prog probably isn't going to be on Humble Bundle because they're indie, but uh, they do Black Fridays and stuff. All right, let's see if this thing has finally installed. It did. The install worked. So we have Erlang 24. Let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, set that global. So Erlang ASDF global Erlang 24.0.1. And then we can do Erl dash V to confirm it. And is it dash dash V? It is version 24 though. There we go. Okay. Now let's get Elixir. So AS, ASDF list all Elixir. And we have a 1.12.1 .1 .1 OTP 24. And yeah, you're welcome. This this was such a a painful trip down Google for me to figure out how to get this to work. Like it was, uh, oh, whoops, ASDF install elixir 1.12 1 dash otp 24 and unlike installing erlang this is just snappy there we go and we can do elixir dash v we have otp 24 and why is that Oh, because I didn't set it to my my uh, global language um, language choice. So we'll do ASDF global elixir 1.12.1 OTP24. And now there we go. Running with the JIT. So just to recap, since I had like a 10 minute interlude while the Erlang uh, OSDF, bah, while the Erlang OTP 24 was installing. The thing that I had to do to get it to work was I had to edit ASD or my own direct home directory slash dot ASDF slash plugins slash Erlang slash curl. And note there is a curl home. You don't want that. You just want the curl script and then look for we need to. And then go down to this line. It did look like this. It was Darwin. You need to set it to Darwin dash disabled. Disabled. Okay. So do that, and then all is good.